Hello, Wadsworth Public Library friends. I'm Mrs. Tenney, and today's program is Explore Story, Pout Pout Fish. And that's our book, Pout Pout Fish, right there. Now, I know many of you, my friends have probably seen the other Pout Pout Fish books. This is the first one, and there's lots of other picture books. And then if you look behind me, where's it at? Right here, look off to the side. There's early readers of the Pout Pout Fish as well. So if you're starting to read and you want to develop those reading skills, this kind of book is maybe a little bit easier for you to read. So we have lots of books. Pout Pout Fish has become very popular. I even brought him with me today, a little stuffed animal of Pout Pout Fish. So let's read this book first to get us ready. Pout Pout Fish is by Deborah Deason, and the publisher is Faro Strauss Guru. Ready? Deep in the water, where the fish hang out, lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Can you pout at home? That's what he's doing. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, and I spread dreariries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Did you ever read it like that at home? Along comes a clam with a wide, grinning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with a crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn that upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but this is just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish, he floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread dreary rearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Looks very sad. Along comes a squid, quite slender, squiggly sight. She's squirmy, she's squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope, how about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. Here we go. Ready? You can probably say it with me now. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face and I spread dreary rearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell you to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. H, Mr. Chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face and I spread dreary all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Look at him. He's lying upside down now. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish. But instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon the pout and then swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. Thought I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face and I spread cherry cherries all over the place. So I'll smooch and smooch, smooch, smooch. Smooch. That is truly silly. So there's the other pout pout books I told you about. We have lots of those in the library. So come on in, see us and check some more out. All right. So I am going to do a rhyme now. So I'm going to put this off to the side and put Mr. Pout Pout Fish over here. So I'm going to do the rhyme. Can you hold up your five? So you're going to do five little seashells. So you hold up your five for me, okay? We'll count one, two, three, four, five. We have five seashells, okay? So you hold up yours, ready? 
five little seashells sitting on the shore. Whoosh went the wave, and then there were how many? Four. Four little seashells, pretty as can be. Whoosh went the wave, and then there were three little seashells, colored pink and blue. Whoosh went the wave, and then there were two. Two little seashells sitting in the sun. Whoosh went the wave, and then there was, you got it, one. One little seashell looking so alone. I picked it up in my hand, and I took it home. So you try that, and you'll have that rhyme in your packet. So try that rhyme, and maybe try it on the other hand the next time you do it. Okay? All right. So now I have another story for you, but it's not like a book like this. It's in a picture like this. So we're going to have our waves, and this is our blue sea, and that's what our story is called, Blue Sea by Robert Kalan. But it is, um, we're going to do it on, like with pictures instead. Okay, so just you can just kind of listen up, but look at all the pictures to tell the story. So we have blue sea, little fish. Here's our little fish. And big fish. Swim, little fish. He's going to swim. He's going to swim away. Ready? So we have the bigger fish. Swim, big fish. Swim, little fish. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Biggest fish. There he is. You see him? Biggest fish. Swim, bigger fish. Swim, big fish. Swim. Where'd he go? Little fish. Now we're going to have to do this. Ready? Here's our coral. Ready? Let's move our fish aside. You know what that is? That's coral. Okay. So... Can the big fish go through? Let's see if our orange fish can go through. Swim, big... I think he gets stuck. Ready? There goes bigger fish, so he's going to have to swim through. Okay? And there goes big fish. So this is bigger fish. This is big fish. And then there goes little fish. Can he fit through? I bet you he can. Look at this. He can hide in the coral, can't he? He's going to hide in the coral. So there goes little fish. Goodbye, biggest fish. And goodbye, big fish. Okay. Here's our next one. How about a porthole, like on a ship? Okay. There goes, where's our big fish? There he is. Can he fit in there? I don't think he can fit in our porthole. Look at this. I don't think he can fit. Try that. How about... Can our... Nope. Green fish can't fit either. How about our... Oh, we know the orange one can't fit. But how about little fish? Little fish can fit through. So, goodbye, biggest fish and big fish, or bigger fish, and big fish, and little fish can get through and get away from all the bigger fish. All right, so let's see what they can fit through. Can they fit through the net? Let's see. Let's try biggest fish. Biggest fish. Oh, he won't get caught in the net. How about bigger fish? Nope. You see how we're getting smaller? Let's see if big fish can fit in. Nope. But look what happens. Little fish can get caught in the net. Oh no. So, but it's little fish in the blue sea. And he can come back here and swim. Good thing about little fish is that he can get away from our orange and our red, and our green fish, because he's smaller and can climb through all those other things. He can swim right through them, can't he? So that's a very simple little story, and it's something that you could even try to retell at home.
using different objects as well. All right, let me show you something. I take a sidetrack here. This is in your packet. I provided like the, not the actual food of the, not the food, but I provided the little recipe in your packet, something, a little snack you could try at home. So I, ha I thought we could use you just use regular little sturdy crackers, and I put cream cheese on the cracker, and then I added some goldfish on there, and that's a fun little snack. You could try that at home. So very simple, and the recipes, which is super simple thing, is in your packet. So in here, you have the rhymes and a few other things I'd like you to try. Um, the letters of the alphabet, trace those, because that is good to know, and it helps you practice your handwriting. You're going to color these fish the color word that it says. This one says blue and orange. So you're going to color each of these pictures the color that it tells you to. This one, you're going to draw and listen to the, or not, well, you could be listening, but you're going to read the directions, probably with an adult, it's going to help you, and you're going to listen to them, and they're going to say, draw a fish on the top of the box. So you're going to draw a fish up here. And then this tells you to do something different. You're going to draw a fish on each of those boxes. And help our little fish friend find his way to school. Okay, you can trace that. And then I have some cutting practice here for you. Okay, it's good to practice our cutting skills, so that's something else you'll do, okay? And in the packet are all the things to make the craft here, and I'm going to show you that right now. Um, let's see here. So these are very simple crafts, but I'm hopefully you can complete these at home on your own, and if not, you can get some help. So there's a black piece of paper in your packet. If you have paint, you can make this paint, okay, at home and just draw with your, your paintbrush out. The lines go out, and basically you're just making a giant puffy star on your paper. Then you take glue, and you put down the face, and the two fins, and your eyes, and there's some of these things you have to draw on here, but you can do that. It shows you in the packet how to do that. And then you have your own pout pout fish. Um, the other one is we have a white piece of paper in here. If you don't have paint, then you just use crayons or markers and you draw the same thing and you still complete the craft the same way. So there's your pout pout fish. And our last craft for this one is a little jellyfish. So these pieces are already pre-cut for you and you can see in your packet. Here, okay. These little pieces are already in there, but there's some things you're going to have to do. So you're going to glue these things on, draw your face on. There's a hole on here, so you just have mom or dad help you, unless you know how, to tie that string on. Here's your little jellyfish, but he needs tentacles. So you take a pen or a marker, and you take these little strips that are in here. See them down here? Okay. You t wrap those around a pencil or a pen, and then all you do is glue them on the back, and then they're all curly. Okay, they're all curly on there. So those are our two crafts, super simple. Okay, so we're gonna do one more rhyme before we're done for today, okay? So now we have five little fish. Okay, let's go over our colors on these fish. Ready? So we have a green fish, a red fish, blue, yellow, and purple. Okay, so can you hold up your five little fish for me? Okay, hold up one of those hands and pull up all five fingers. Five little fishies swimming at the pet store. Someone bought one fish, and then there were four. Four little fishies swimming by me. Someone bought another, and then there were, that's right, there's three. Three little fishies swimming by you. Someone bought another fish, and then there were two little fishies swimming just for fun. Someone bought one of the two, and that left one. He's yellow, isn't he? One little fishy swimming all alone. So I bought him, and I took him home. So there you go. You get your little fishy to take home. All right. So that's all I have for you today for Explorer Story Pout Pout Fish. A couple crafts, a little snack that you could make at home. And hopefully we'll see you at the library soon. Bye.